you have a chariot. Your workplace is a chariot. And as you walk, as you go on with your everyday life, you are supposed to take the preaching of the gospel with you. You're supposed to take the preaching of the gospel with you. In Acts of the Apostles, we see the disciples that as they were scattered abroad by reason of persecution, that they went preaching everywhere. They went preaching everywhere. As they were scattered, they went preaching everywhere. So the preaching of the gospel is not something that you do out of convenience. It's not something that you do when you have time. Your feet, your walk, your lifestyle is supposed to be such that the preaching of the gospel is in it. You know, the preaching of the gospel is in it. When I got born again, I told my folks I wasn't going to go to university. I can remember the day I bought my jam uh, for. There was a, it was like a party in the house. They made special food for me because finally I had come to my senses. Because why didn't I want to go to university? I thought to myself, after getting born again, everybody needs to hear this. Everybody needs to know this. And I thought that going to university was a waste of time. What are you going to do there? I asked, is it a one year course? They said, no. Is it a two year course? They said, no. Is it a three year course? They said, no. They said, the least you should have is four years. I said, four years doing what? It's a waste of time when, when souls are perishing. You know, it's interesting that I didn't spend four years. You know, I didn't just get a degree. I got two, you know. Uh, but I'm thankful to God that I learned something. And praise be to God that I went to university because I found out that going to university was an opportunity to preach the gospel like I would not have been able to preach it otherwise. So I found out that in my walk, you don't have to go away to preach the gospel. The gospel is to be preached in your walking. Who understands that? In your walking. In your walking. You're a footballer. You've been called to preach the gospel to all footballers as you walk in your footballing, as you go ahead with your footballing, preach the gospel there. You're a banker. You know, it's amazing. You have someone who's a banker and when it's time to preach the gospel, the banker doesn't preach to other bankers. The banker leaves all his colleagues in the office and goes to meet the gate man to preach the gospel to the gate man or walks down the street and goes to a mechanic workshop and start preaching the gospel to the mechanic person. That's where he goes for his evangelism. He says, how beautiful are the feet of them that bring this gospel of peace. So you take the gospel with you. You're a military man. You've been called to that place. Preach the gospel in that barrack. Preach it in that barrack. You're a model. Preach the gospel to other models. Preach to the gospel to people that are in that industry. You're an actor or actress. You work in the film industry. Then preach the gospel there. Take the gospel along with you. That's what the scripture says. Take the gospel along with you. The power of God to save is embedded in the gospel of Jesus Christ. Come on, amen. The power of God to save is embedded in the gospel of Jesus Christ. I, I told you last Sunday, there is no book in this world. There is no body of knowledge in this world that you can acquire. There is no society in this world. There is no organization in this world. There is nothing in this world that you can acquire through which you can be saved. There is none. There is no course offered by any university that will produce salvation in your spirit. There is no religion in this world that will produce salvation in your spirit. There is none. There is none. It says, the gospel is the power of God unto salvation. The power of God to save. If God is going to save a man, it is through the gospel. If God is going to save a community, it is through the gospel. 
it is through the gospel. What's the gospel then? What's the gospel then? What's the gospel? The word gospel is good news. Good news. Good news of Jesus and his saving power.